Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to this Superliminal Games YouTube Magic Arena video. Going to play a little constructed event today. Going to play some Is It Drakes, because it's a deck I've been having a great deal of success with on the new ranked ladder, and I'm really enjoying playing. I'm in the middle of a very long winning streak that actually um, is going 12 or 13 games now at this point, so we'll see if we can keep it up and maybe 7-0, uh, seven which would be the hope. Okay, it casts every spell in the hand. It gives us a spell pierce to counter if they tap out for a tap low for a non-creature. Two discoveries, lava coil. I'll take it. Give the opponent a hello because that's what Max would want us to do, and we'll pass it up. Gotta draw the cards, so we'll discover. So opponents on red, we already have a Lava Coil in hand. I think I'm gonna bend that Lava Coil. And draw the Enigma Drake. Because that gives us a 2-4 Enigma Drake next turn. Unless they have a Lava Coil of their own to follow it up. Aha! Opponents on the mirror. Nope. Opponents on wizards. I will take this. Blue-red wizards not a deck I've seen around recently, and they have the lava coil. Oh, we've got a crackling drake coming next turn, so that should be fine. All we really need to do is stick one of these drakes, and we're really in a good position. Sure, strike my face. That's an interesting choice. I'll leave that spell pierce on top. We'll discovery dispersal. Bin an island. Draw another discovery dispersal. And attack our opponent for four. We really win the race here because the Crackling Drake scales so incredibly well. We're representing having left shock up. We also have spell pierce up. Strike my fate? You strike my face? Absolutely. In another land. Draw an Enigma Drake. Play a mountain. Attack for five. Play an Enigma Drake and leave up Spell Pierce again. And now we have a blocker for the Lava Runner, and we also have them basically dead on board. Yep, because we can Lava Coil out that Phoenix. Lava Coil the Phoenix. Shock the Lava Runner. And game. Actually, we don't even need to shock the lava runner, but we will to keep it clean. All right, game one down, keeping that winning streak alive. Oh, hey, and our fifteenth win for the week. Nice. Go 
Where did you go to the 13th? A lot of Georgios. This is not a hand we can keep. Oh. I can't mulligan to five, but this is a slow hand. Call me Eric Clapton, because we got a slow hand. One Dragon Skull Summit in the whole deck. One. Oof, bottom that. Lands will come. Do our opponent the hello. Get the hello back. Nice. Give him the nice. Steam vents untapped. Ah. Merfolk, you say. Shock that guy right out of the way. And there's a river sneak that we can lava coil. All right. Sure, another branch walker, get at it. Tempest Caller, oh boy. Yep. Sorry, River Sneak. Discovery. Leave that exactly as it is, because we'll get to draw Ral or get to play Ral next turn. And we'll attack him for three. Or so with that, I'm actually going to play Enigma Drake and Lava Coil this turn. Lava Coil the Mist Binder. Attack for four. And play the Enigma Drake. Sleep! Sleep! Oh, we'll just play another Enigma trick then. I was not expecting sleep! Do they have another sleep? Oh no, just Tempest Caller. Okay. We'll go to ten, and then we'll... Kill them on the crackback. One, two, three, six. Blue, 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 red, 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 and put them to one. Yeah. All right, second win. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. This opts, it charts, it eventually get. Yeah, we'll keep it on play. Our opponent, the hello. Hello, Terrence. Island. Set a stop at the end of turn so we don't forget to opt. Yeah, I'm okay with search for his counter. Remove all stops. Chart, of course. I'm less okay with search for his counter now. I'm actually going to discard it. So we need to get lands. Guild Mages for... Okay. 
This is a thing. Goodbye discovery dispersal? Probably? Maybe? I don't know. Two mana duress just feels bad. Yep, okay. Well, we'll chart a course. Drawing up some land. We get rid of one of these Niv Mizzet, sadly. Come on, a land with the three crackling drakes in my hand. What is this deck? Also, you duressed me. You knew I had a shock. I'm very confused. I am very confused. The program, when you reveal your opponent's hand, the program shows your hand. I'm very confused. Well, they don't kill one of them. We have them dead on board, so... Oh! Freebooter, you say? We still have them dead on board. We... Oh, well, we need to be able to kill the Kaito. I am I am puzzled. Like they've played Duress, Dusk Legion Zealot, Kite Cell Freebooter, and Swift Blade Vindicator. Is this some deck I don't know about? All right, opponent, it's a tall order that you have to answer here. But it wouldn't surprise me if you were able to, because this deck is ridic- Oh, okay. I do not understand what we just played against. If anybody knows what we just played against and wants to put it in the comments down below, go ahead, because... Me no no. Me very much no no. We're playing actual Jace Bellerin, oh no. Actual Jace Bellerin. This is a lot of lands, but it opts. We're on the draw. I'll take it, because it almost cast Niv Mizzet out of hand. We were one blue or red source away from casting this Niv Mizzet on turn six. Parun. Hello, opponent. Nice! Got the hello back! Alright, so we need to beat Carnage Tyrant. I've done it before with this deck. It is possible. Healing is possible! Alright. Wayfinder? Nope. Just going to... It's about sending a message. Let's opt. And we'll draw the discovery. I'll do it now. That's the most efficient way to get our mana down. No, discovery, you stay there. Other niv -mizzet. Other Niv Mizzet, you go away. So we're going to have a 2 4 Enigma Drake next turn. We have a Beacon Bolt to 
kill big things if we need to. There's a Vivian coming, which is a little annoying. With the Vivian coming, we're just going to have to leave up Dive Down so we can hexproof the flyer that they try to kill with it. Nope. Vivian came this turn. Came without packages, boxes, or bags. Oh. What? What? I am a confused person. I am a very confused person. Let's discover. In that. There goes Spell Pierce. And. Attack Vivian for three. Now we're getting started. So now if they want to kill the Enigma Drake, they have to put... They have to kill Vivian to kill the Enigma Drake. They can cast this Carnage Tyrant, which is going to be tough for us. Carnage Tyrant is a very difficult boy for us. Ravenous Chupadagra. Resolve. Dive down. Sorry, Chupadog. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Yes, Vivian, we understand. You've had a terrible upbringing. You reveal a forest. Yep, get threed. Okay, we will have that intertapped. Shock the Chupadagra. We will bacon. The Seeker Squire, and we will kill Vivian. Stars are lessons written in skin. Blue source would be nice. Blue, blue or red source. Still where we were when we started the game. Attacks because currently it blocks the Carnage Tyrant and kills it. Carnage Tyrant. Very good magic card. Very alright losing the Enigma Drake to Carnage Tyrant because we have a Crackling Drake and we've established Niv Mizzet, which does some things. Put the blocker in front. They have a trick that's going to let us draw a card. Oh, they just wanted to punch in. For three. Do they have another one? Another one would be tough. Oh, find. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's draw a card, though. Chupadagra. Yep. This game may be out of our control. And these green-black decks are really good. Once again, uh, as I've said before, this is one of the times when a best-of-one format isn't the greatest. 
because there are definitely sideboard cards that I have for this deck that could go a long, long way in a matchup like this. So that's a bit annoying, but we do what we have to do. Unless so we can shock down a branch walker and uh, opt and grow our crackling drake yet again, so... Yep, there's Carnage Tyrant, a known entity. Okay, shock the Branch Walker. Block the Troop Cub. Opt at end of turn. It's an Enigma Drake. Oh, Dispersal. You'll do. See you now, Carnage Tyrant. Curses. You've rumbled my nefarious plan. We'll make them tap out for it and increase our everything count. Tap low for it, I guess. Okay. Enigma Drake. We will just go ahead and coil out the Wild Growth Walker. All right. Any instant or sorcery off the top. Oh, come on, opponent. Jeez. And also derp. Blue, blue, red, red is the correct. All right. We are fading removal or a pump spell or life gain. No removal, no pump spell, no life gain. No locks. We beat Carnage Tyrant again! Yeah! This deck is ridiculous. Alright, four wins. Can we rattle off three more? Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. This deck is stupid. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, Steam Vents costs us two life, but allows us to opt. And Sulphur Falls comes into play, and we're on the draw. Hello, opponent. Opponent has a mulligan to six. Giving us the hello. Oh my! Okay, so opponent mulligan down and is that the mono red deck? I hate I would hate to see what their hand looked like when they mulliganed. I don't think I've ever mulliganed with that deck. I'm just gonna go ahead and no. We'll establish search. This is probably wrong, but I wanna save lava coil for bigger, more impactful creatures. 
like that. <laughs> yeah, lightning my face. You gotta deal damage. Bin that sulfur falls. Play this sulfur falls. Coil that guy. I mean, yeah, this is going to be tough, so... Already at 8. Bin that. Play an Enigma Drake. The Enigma Drake blocks this stuff really well, so... Chain Whirler? Sure. Resolves. Uh, we'll keep that in our library. We will shock the Pyromancer. And play another Enigma Drake. I mean, we are stone cold dead to two, three damage burn spells here, but... Hmm, Flame of Keld. Yeah, pretty bad off to that, too. Sadly, I'm going to keep that in my library. Because I want to cast a Crackling Drake. Okay, so opponent is dead on board. They got a lot of cards coming here. A lot of ways this could kill us. Fortunately, Rekindling Phoenix is not one of them. Cast a dive down on our own guy. that in the graveyard. Transform that. Cast a dive down on our own guy. And attack the opponent to dead. All right, 5-0. 5-0. Well, 5-0 is how that looks to y'all. Y'all? Mm, spent too much time in Oklahoma. All right, got our five wins. Two more. Dos mas. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if we can keep this. We're on the play. This feels like a loose keep. It has an Enigma Drake. Eh, I'll keep it. It can take out an early play. If it had some card draw in it, this would actually be like a good hand, but... Okay, you got a Legion's Landing. Resolves. Shock that boy. Don't want you gaining life. That hurts, but it's the best way we can guarantee to cast an Enigma Drake. And leave up Spell Pierce, but we didn't need that. Enigma Drake, get in. Probably could have preserved two points of damage there. Yeah. Once again, I'm left one in Goblin Chain Whirler. Because <laughs> this deck is just a pile of X1s. Gotta keep them from flipping Legion's Landing. Yeah, I mean, 
having to do that that way was annoying, but... Yeah, basically, if we keep them from flipping Legion's Landing, <clears throat> this game is a lot different. But if they go... Because the thing is, if we go long, our stuff just gets so much bigger than theirs. What? Goblin Instigator! Oh. Oh no. One of my drakes. Put that on top. Get out of here, Benelish Marshal. Shrink everything else down. And no attacks, because we got to continue to preserve this life total. And that Conclave Tribunal was great for them. And they're going to flip Legion's Landing now. Man, we got a slog ahead of us. An actual slog. If they have the thing kind of humped here. A pump spell that I can never remember the name of. What? Make a stand? Oh my god, I would absolutely kill. I would kill. For a chain whirler right now, just click. Chart a course. Let's weaken bolt the flyer. No attacks, we just gotta keep our blockers back. You have a pump spell. You got me. Crackling Drake. I don't know why they didn't activate... I mean, they can activate a Dante with our end step. No attacks. Yep. They activated Dante. Aw, oh, come on! It's not even fun. I mean, I guess sometimes they rip it. All right, well, the two life that we lost off the steam vents we didn't need to play untapped was didn't end up being the difference in that game, but it wasn't good. So. Ah. Ah! Ruined my perfect record. Lots of opts. Casts Enigma Dracon 3. I'll take it. Hello, opponent. Nice. Little Anwar Elf. That crackling drake on top. Just gonna go ahead and shock out that elf now. Haha, -ha, dead elf. Need them to not ramp. Druid of the Cow was also fine. And we will opt again. Let's opt again, like we did last summer. Let's establish this Enigma Drake. 
Because as we saw the last time we played against a green ramp deck, being able to outrace our opponent was all that we needed. And, uh... Yep, cast down. Come on. I'll coil that. Leave up opt again. Not like this deck. Not like this. Not like this deck. Not like this. Not like this deck. Not like this. Not both sides stuck on mana. Okay. Get rid of that lava coil. That kind of hurts, but... We can leave up Spell Pierce if they get four mana and play the... <laughs> Which is, ooh, that's a long one, but if they get a fourth land and they play the, um, uh, what, what is her name? The Vraska, the four mana Vraska. But that didn't happen. We just get a Jade Light Ranger. I mean, we are three hits with Crackling Drake from killing them, so... And we can leave up Spell Pierce. <coughs> I think the best case scenario for us right here is them to try Swamp Fresca's Contempt. Mm, just cast the other Jade Light. Man, they are starving. They're hurting for land. I'm glad we beat down their... Uh... Yeah, I'm really glad we beat down their mana ramp. No blocks. Oh, Chupadagra, I am sorry. I am sorry, Doggo. Mm -hmm. Damn. Why did we draw land there? Oh, that's maddening. Pick any card draw spell and we just win. No, not just, but any card draw spell and we very nearly win. That's annoying. Not like this deck. Not like this. We had a great 5 0. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this.
Five and two. Five and two. Come on, deck. What are we doing? Ah. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. All right, we're on the play here. The hello. Yeah, we'll draw a cackling Drake. It's all for falls. This thing. Discard a bacon bolt. Oh, opponent must be hurting for mana if they binned an Eldest Reborn. Disinformation. Going to discard this Discovery and Dispersal. Now they're bending a watery grit. Are we Grixis control and having a hard time finding red? I'm very confused. Sure. Sabotage. Okay, five mana. Eldest Reborn. Sack an Enigma Drake. Give him a shock to the face. <sighs> Fuck. Did that out of sequence and I had them dead. Ah! Sequencing errors! I could have baconed my crackling drake. Okay, got there anyway. Ah, <sighs> gave them a turn I didn't need to give them. But we got there anyway. All right, six wins. Can we get our seventh? Can we seven one this guy? Brandon in a can. Alright. Yeah, I'll take this. Hello, opponent! Oh, discovery. Get out of your island and... Honestly, get out of here, Opt. Okay. Need to 
be able to remove this Boros Challenger. Because it can get up to some shenanigans. No blocks. Okay, and now we actually trade with a Boros Challenger unless they activate it. Oh, Aurelia! I see. First strike? No. Alright, so they, we go to 12. We can't crack back to kill Aurelia, but these two can kill Aurelia. She doesn't get first strike. We've got Vigilance. Let's just trade it off here. Chart a course. Discard the sulfur falls. Let's chart a course. Discard this island. And send for five. I mean the Lyra that they certainly have. Yeah, and we get five here with Vigilance. Well, good run, but I honestly do not think we have a way out of this without more card draw. Oh, Shalai. Well, isn't that just something? First strike? No. Is everything else done? Yeah. Gonna go ahead and concede that one. So hoping we dodge that deck. That's a really hard one for us. But, hey, six wins is not bad. Would have preferred the seven, but six wins. So I'll take it. We profit gold. We get some ICRs. Two rares. Let's see what we get. So we got a Highland Lake, Vance's Blasting Cannons, and Graveyard Marshal Sutcliffe. All right. Well, those weren't great, but they were something. Thanks very much for checking this video out. Make sure you check us out. It's www.superliminalfilms.com. Also, all of those social places you see down beneath me right here. Uh, Facebook, YouTube is uh, down there on the bottom. That's also where you're seeing this. Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, to quote the How Ridiculous Boys from Australia, get that bell on. Bye, everybody.